Meanwhile, President Moon Jae-in has touched down in Norway on the second leg of his three-nation trip to Northern Europe. Now, on his schedule on Wednesday, a speech at the Oslo Forum on Peace. Now, given the forum's theme and his efforts to bring lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula, many are curious to hear what he might have to say about North Korea, especially in time for the one-year anniversary of the historic North Korea-U.S. summit. Shin Se-min reports. Part two of President Moon Jae-in's week-long trip to Northern Europe sees the South Korean leader in Norway for his second straight state visit. Visiting the Scandinavian country in time for the 60th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic ties between South Korea and Norway, President Moon's two-day itinerary is packed with summit meetings and sit-downs with parliamentary chiefs. However, garnering the most attention is his scheduled speech at a forum at the University of Oslo on the topic of the Korean peace process. The event is taking place in conjunction with Oslo Forum's Peace Broker Conference. Adding another layer of symbolism, President Moon will deliver his speech at a place where late former President Kim Dae-jung was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his deeds for democracy and his administration's reconciliation with Pyongyang. The speech comes a matter of days after President Moon hinted that more summits between the Koreas and between the North and the United States could be on the horizon. And prior to arriving in Norway, President Moon also highlighted his confidence that the Korean peace process will succeed. President Moon added he will concentrate all his energy to make it happen. With the centerpiece of his trip here in Norway being the speech at the Oslo Forum, the anticipation is brewing that the South Korean leader may use the opportunity to reiterate his drive for peace on the Korean Peninsula to mark the one-year anniversary of the first ever summit meeting between the leaders of North Korea and the U.S. Shin Se-min, Arirang News, Oslo.